Today I'm on the Barla Eagle One version two. Let's check it out. <laughs> oh, I knew it was gonna happen eventually. This one is another scooter from Varla with a top speed of 40 miles per hour. It has dual suspension, hydraulic brakes. Now this Varla has borrowed some things from the Eagle One Pro, like the, the uh, stem. It's triangular in shape and has a much more sturdy feel about it and a much better clamping system. Another thing they borrowed from the Eagle One Pro is the NFC reader on the display. So to start the scooter, you just turn it on, then you place one of the NFC cards in front of the display and it starts right up. So the Varla Eagle One version two has front and rear lighting like the original Eagle One, but in addition, they've added side lighting, side ambient lighting, which I have on the Varla Falcon. I'll put a link down below in case you wanna see that scooter. That one's a more budget friendly scooter, but I'll put a link down below in case you wanna check that out. I like the lights on this one. It has three different lighting modes. I'm gonna put a screenshot of it up right now so you can check it out. And it uh, looks great at night and it will help people to see you. Hey, I do give things away on my channel from time to time, so make sure you click the subscribe button down below. Make sure you're getting notifications and uh, good luck. It has dual hub motors, 1000 watts each with a peak power of 3200 watts. Controlled by two 25 amp sine wave controllers. Now the sine wave controllers are a lot quieter than the square wave that are on a lot of other scooters. So this scooter is a lot smoother and a lot quieter. Supposed to be a lot more efficient. Now, I think that's because you get kind of a smoother start or take off with it. Then you do the square wave motors. Square wave motors are a bit more aggressive in feel from takeoff. With the sine wave controllers, I can actually go a lot smoother out of uh, mode one and two than with the square wave, which is a lot more aggressive. So with square wave, more aggressive, sine wave, maybe a little less, but a lot smoother of a ride. Might also be better for people that are just learning. So with the uh, modes one and two being such a soft takeoff, you could probably learn a lot easier on this without being very scared about all the power that's behind it. But be careful, because if you get up to uh, modes three, four, and five, there's a lot of power there. And that's gonna be for the more experienced rider. So yeah, this scooter is good for both inexperienced and experienced riders. It has a whopping 52 volt, 20.8 amp hour battery. Lots of power. It comes with two charging ports, and I suggest that you buy the second charger because when you charge using only one charger, it'll take up to nine to 10 hours to get a full charge. Whereas if you have two chargers, it'll only take five to six hours. Waterproofing, it has an IP54 rating, which simply means it's okay with dust and some light sprays, but don't go putting a water hose directly on it or riding it out in rain. In fact, I'm gonna put a link down below to what I use for waterless washes. On a full charge, you should get up to 42 miles with a top speed of 40 miles per hour. Now, of course, if you're pushing it all the time, you're not gonna get that 42 miles range. And that's gonna vary depending on things like your constant speed, the mode you're riding in, weight, payload, things like that. Hills can affect your mileage. So just keep all that in mind. For tires, we have 10 by 3.5 inch air tubeless puncture resistant tires. We've got hydraulic brakes. 
which worked great. And uh, with 160 millimeter rotors, we've got front and rear shocks with independent absorption. And the deck is 9.1 inches wide, but you can get a much wider one if you go to the Varla website, check out the accessory page dedicated to the version two Eagle One. Uh, in fact, they have a 13.8 inch deck there that you can buy along with other things like a water bottle. There's a rear rack that you can attach to the back of the scooter. A lot of neat things. It can handle climbs of 30% angles. It weighs 82 pounds. Max payload is 330 pounds. Recommended rider heights is uh, four foot five to six foot 11. This scooter has 36 Newton meters of torque. So I was checking the speed out against what they have on the website and it's pretty accurate. In mode one, you get up to six miles per hour. Mode two, 15 miles per hour. Mode three is 20 miles per hour. Mode four is 30 miles per hour. And mode five will get you up to 40 miles an hour. Yep, I'm hitting 40 miles an hour right now and it's so smooth feels so safe and secure here that you know you want to be careful because you are going really fast and I probably should be padded up right now but yeah this uh, scooter handles its top speed very well all right so I'm not sure what the degree is on this hill but it's a pretty good hill and I feel nothing going up this hill it's making it up just fine I have been on some things before that struggled a little bit but this it's increasing in speed as I go up so I found this little dirt trail here I'm gonna see how well it makes it up it's really bumpy lots of rocks lots of cracks in the ground doing a fine job though with these knobby tires. I like that this scooter came with knobby tires because I could pretty much take it anywhere I want now. Yeah, this is pretty good. Woo. <laughs> That was good, that was fun. I'm not going all the way up there today. But one day I may have to try it. But yeah, let's take a look at what I did do. Yeah, I made it up this with no problem. Now we're gonna go back down. Yeah, if you take a look over there, that's where some locals fly like uh, their planes and helicopters. I don't think I've seen any drones, but uh, I might have to come over here and check that out one day. All right, let's go back down. Okay, we're getting to a real sandy area here. Yeah, it's doing okay, but I can feel it sliding around, slipping and sliding a little bit. We're gonna see about taking this trail down a little bit, see how we do. Whoa, okay. Let's try this again. Let's give this a shot. It is sliding a lot in here, but that is like just pure sand.
All right, cool. Pretty good. And up this hill, back into the sand. All right. Whoa, lots of sand, got some sliding going on. And I'm down. So yesterday I went riding up in the hills and I hit a pile of sand and I fell over but uh, no damage to the scooter no net no damage to me I did break my camera off the pole that I have it connected to and it scratched up so I'm not sure how the video looks right now but I'm trying to finish it off with this camera so I'm now in loose gravel which it handles a lot better than sand so I think a good tip is avoid sand if you like this video please click the like button down below subscribe for more videos i'm also going to include links to all my varla videos down below and an affiliate link in case you're interested in purchasing this really helps out the channel i appreciate it get out there and ride and i'll see you on the next one <laughs>